150 million years ago, another reptilian group appeared on the planet that also flew. Like most reptiles, including pterosaurs, these creatures began their lives inside an egg. But they had evolved a revolutionary new design for flight, one that would usher in a remarkable fresh chapter in our story. And unlike the pterosaurs, they're still with us today. They are, of course, the birds. Some today can provide clues about how their ancestors managed to get into the air. This is the chick of a bird found in farmyards everywhere. A bantam hen. And at this very early stage in its life, it can show us something very interesting about the origin of that crucial piece of flying equipment, a feather. Its feathers are downy. That's to say, they're made up of simple filaments. And their function is not for flight, but insulation to keep this little creature warm. And back in the Jurassic period, Long before the arrival of true birds, very similar looking feathers appeared on very different animals, reptiles, dinosaurs to be precise. <laughs> <laughs> 